was a huge night for longtime listeners, first time callers, as the Mike and the Mad Dog reunion show was held across the street at Radio City Music Hall. Luminaries such as Jerry Cooney, Bobby Valentine, and Victor Cruz were on hand as sports radio stars Christopher Russo and Mike Francesa were back together again to raise money for charity. That's funny about Mike and me. I can I won't see Mike for 40 years now. And when I see him 40 years from now, I can pick up where I left off. I don't need to. Mike doesn't need to see me. I don't need to see him. It's like the old days when we get together. You know, the biggest part of it though is the fans because the energy in the building. You know, and you can feed off that. It's real. You can feel it, and that is what you really react to. You know, it really shapes how you're going to do the show. It's just how the fans react. We can tell just by the when we walk out there, you'll know what kind of crowd it is just by the way the fans react, and that that's where the energy comes from it really that to me is the whole thing former Knicks coach Jeff Van Gundy was a guest of the program as well since he was less than a mile away from the garden he was asked hey if Mike and the Mad Dog can get back together again couldn't he and the Knicks don't bet on it oh no that's not my that's not my uh, thing I you know coaching uh, is the least of their issues you know they uh, they've had fine coaching along since I left. It's not been that. Uh, they need to find Hall of Fame talents. They've got Carmelo Anthony. They have Porzingis, and they have to keep finding the complementary players that bring out the best in those two. And I think they'll do that. And I think you're going to see a team that makes good progress uh, going forward.